We have to stop thinking that they're out to get us in a good relationship with them. The pride, the ego, the all this stuff. We are making money with them to extend that positivity to them. Now, if you walk into a place and they're being super disrespectful, DoorDash drivers are making us look bad. And news outlets are following any bad negative story about DoorDash drivers and what we do and running with it. Let's talk about it. Mr. Benoni Pedro Dores to go back at you. Now listen, I got the hood on for a reason. When the hoodie goes up, I mean business, and I'm gonna say things that are gonna be unpopular, but I feel like it's gonna serve the greater good of the community and drivers, whether you're OG, a new driver, been driving for a year, 10 years, one month, first day, and you're watching this. I have a message for you guys about what and how we're being portrayed, how we're being portrayed, and what we can do on a daily basis to help shed us in a better light and help these merchants understand that most drivers are good and let's not give all the attention to the clown DoorDash drivers. So somebody sent me this, I believe in the middle of the week or something, I got this email and then I saw a news clip about it. DoorDash driver pepper sprays a pizza guy, a pizza owner. because he just asked her to confirm the pickup. And in the video, it's from Inside Edition, okay? You can see him go get the bag and he's asking her, because he's had problems with Dasher stealing food. This is not a news story. And he asked her to confirm the pickup and show him. And then he's gonna hand it to her. Really simple thing, extremely simple. He's the business owner trying to protect his business and his consumers. And he's asking an independent contractor, can you confirm this order? Now, when these guys say confirm, they're not necessarily saying, I need you to come hit the button and then I'll give you the food in five minutes. We should never do that. We should confirm the order, hit the button. When we know that they're, they're literally gonna hand it to us in half a second or they've handed it to us and they say, could, may you please confirm it? I have no problem with a business owner doing this to protect his business. If you had a restaurant, you should do the same thing, especially if you've had a history of plans of orders not being delivered and things happening and people saying they're drivers and they're not saying, hey, I got an order for whatever, and they're not, right? They're, they, they basically, some drivers are so bad that they can see the order, the name, on a sign it, still go to that place and say, yeah, I got an order for Pedro. Oh, okay, here, boom. And if that merchant doesn't do their due diligence and ask a question or something doesn't seem right, that food is stolen and it either has to be made again at the owner's expense and then the customer suffers as well. Listen, I'm gonna say some unpopular things. We as DoorDash drivers should have zero issue with somebody wanting us to confirm who we are. And like I said, we should never just hit the button without having the product or having it right in front of us and maybe even asking a question, but as independent contractors, as DoorDash drivers, we're not employees, right? Right? We need to build good relationships with the people we make money with. Our pride and egos, some of us as DoorDash drivers, is getting out of control, in my opinion. We expect to walk into places and just have them do everything for us without us doing anything for them at times. A lot of us get impatient, we don't wanna wait. Hey, I'm super impatient, but I just unassign and drop it and move on. A lot of us don't understand the aspect of the restaurant side. I've managed restaurants for many years. I get it, so my perspective might be different. But we have gotta build better relationships with these people, these business owners, these hostesses, these to-go people. We have to do a better job of understanding their side so that they can understand. Our side. We are making money with them. It, in my opinion, falls on us to extend that positivity to them. Now, if you walk into a place and they're being super disrespectful, hey, maybe you can report them to DoorDash you don't, you, you, and you don't do business with them and you keep it moving. But if you walk into an establishment and he wants you to confirm an order number, confirm order as he's giving you the bag, it is our responsibility, in my opinion, to do just that. If you aren't a bad delivery driver, don't take offense to somebody trying to protect their business. You should protect your business by building a better relationship with these people, these, these restaurants, 
and then allowing you then to have more business later on for yourself. We have to stop thinking that they're out to get us and they think we're frauds and they think we're bad. They're protecting their business. And you should protect your business the same way by building a good relationship with them. The pride, the ego, the all this stuff, merchants against drivers has got to end. Going back in there and being that upset because somebody asked you to confirm and this woman pepper sprays the guy is absurd. And that's why these news outlets keep talking about us. That's why some of these customers aren't tipping. We are making us look bad by how we act. This is not a hard job most of the time. There are bad merchants, okay? There are bad customers, but we are independent. We're not employees. We can choose where we want to go, when we want to go. We can unassign orders at a reasonable rate. You can drop 20 out of 100 offers that you accept without any penalty from DoorDash. We have got to do better. These type of stories, we gotta figure out how we can flip it. For because right now we look stupid. All these national news stories, most of them at least, are negative, negative. DoorDash driver does this. DoorDash driver takes a, a poop in a trash can at an apartment building. DoorDash driver, uh, you know, eats a customer's food. DoorDash driver m pepper sprays maces a restaurant business owner just because he wanted to confirm. That's all it was. That interaction did not have to escalate in that situation. And to me, that driver escalated it. And the only reason he escalated it is because he has a history of drivers coming and either stealing food or not, or taking it and not doing the right thing with it. So as a business owner, he has to do that. We have to sometimes, as independent contractors, as DoorDash 1099 drivers, right? We have to put ourselves in a position of the consumer, the merchant. We have to do that in order to protect our business. We got to stop thinking that everything is about us all the time, right? I'm seeing more and more of it. And, and that's why in this year I've been pushing for a little more positivity and a little more clarity, a little like a little less emotion and more rational thinking. And for some of you, you're going to get it. And a lot of you guys will not like this video. You once again say, oh, my God, he's a corporate chill. He's selling out. I'm sorry that I'm being positive. I'm sorry I'm seeing good results. I'm sorry that because of that, all the other things are great. Oh, for me, and I, you know, I'm sorry that you feel some type of way about it, but if, if we as drivers have that much of a, I've talked about this before, but like if it's that big of a deal to confirm, I, I don't get it. And like I said, we should never confirm when we get there and then they're still making the food. That's not good business for you. But the, the gentleman in the video clearly is about ready to hand her a bag and all he's asking her to do is confirm the order. And we have to also have to understand some people, it might not even be that he needs you to press the button. Confirm to him in some places might just mean, hey, can you give me the name? Is there an order number? Can you tell me what's in it? These questions should not spark us and outrage us because they're asking a question to us. We are a stranger to most of these merchants picking up their customers' food. And a lot of these small businesses are struggling. So the least we can do out of respect for them is answer a question or two. If you don't feel like you're doing anything wrong, there should not be an issue. They're not asking us to do anything that is crazy. They're not. But when DoorDash drivers take such offense and they let their ego and pride get in the way, and they get so defensive about a simple question, what happened in this scenario is she's going to get deactivated because she overreacted. Or if you're the type of driver that's like, you know what, I'm not confirming, and you storm out, you just cost yourself money. So who looks like the fool? You cost yourself money. The next driver is going to accept it. Go in and say, yeah, you know what? Hey, my name's Pedro. I got an order for uh, Rebecca. You want me to confirm? Yeah, no problem, man. There you go. I can confirm that. There's the bag. Thank you. Have a great day. I hope to see you next time. Do you see how easy that is? It's very simple. We got to stop the shenanigans. We got to do better for to protect your own business and your opportunities. These apps are an opportunity to make money. And when you act like a child, you take away the opportunities to make money. And this driver and many others are were acting like kids. We got to level up. We got to act like men and women and answer a simple question and hit a simple button that when it's reasonable, you hit the button. We got to take emotion out of this. We call ourselves independent. We call ourselves business owners. I see many people in comments and making videos and all this. You guys do not look like you're independent and you're not acting like business owners. You're acting like entitled dashers. We can do better. Some of you guys will not like this video. Other people will get it and you'll be like, you know what? It isn't that big of a deal because it's not. 
And then those that get it will continue to make good money on these apps, staying positive, adapting, and not looking at anything more than an opportunity because that's all it is. I hope that dash that pepper sprayed him. If I'm him, I'm pressing charges, number one. Right? I am. There's, there's no need for that. And clearly, she's not going to be on DoorDash, and she shouldn't be. A person that has, and part of the issue that we have also in this community with customers is there's too many drivers like this. They don't make up the the majority. Most of us are really great. But it's that 5% or whatever, or 10% of ones that are bad, that are getting the attention. We need more attention and light shed on drivers like you and me that are doing the right thing. Not eating customers' food, not pooping in trash cans, like the story from last year. Not kicking food, not leaving it in a spot on purpose just because somebody, you know, um, didn't come down in an appropriate time for you. Listen, we have to understand, we have the control. You don't have to do business with customers and consumers you don't like. Don't deliver low, low ball, no tip orders, because those are the ones that are gonna give you crap. And if a merchant is really disrespecting you, like truly, you just don't go there. And you can call DoorDash, tell them, and when you see that order come in at that pizza place, you decline it. It's very simple. We as dashers are making it harder than it needs to be. Like I said, I just needed to make this video because when I see stuff like this, it makes me look bad. And I take pride in what I do, whether it's the YouTube channel, the vending machines, or delivering people McDonald's. I take pride in it and I try to do the best. I will not always make the right decisions, but drivers like this and people that are saying like, yeah, this is it's happening and this is bad and these merchants, no. We need to look at both sides. We're gonna talk about this tonight on tonight's live. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.